Hi friends, welcome to another art video. Today I'm going to give you a sketchbook tour of my latest self-imposed drawing challenge where I draw a portrait every day for 30 days. And this is basically just from the very beginning of the year I was just like I need to draw more even if it's just for me um, as a way to just exercise or to even like warm up at the um, beginning of the day. I would do these sketches early morning and it would just like help me like loosen up, gets me to do wrist movements and stuff like that. And honestly, like I just miss sketching and I miss just having um, like a block of time to just myself and to like hone in on just, just drawing. So here is a notebook that I got while I was on my honeymoon in Mexico City. Isn't it beautiful? Nice and bright and pink and it's actually a grid notebook. So I actually started in November, um, but I didn't really draw until too, too much until like earlier this year. So this is my first sketch of the sketchbook. I loved how it came out. Um, very structural. And here I was playing a little bit with contours like the next day. And then I was getting back into the swing of things. This only took like 14 minutes, which I'm like so surprised. It's very, very structural. You could see like where the body's um, tilted. You can see like a little bit of a muscle definition where like her pecs or her abs and stuff. So yeah, that was a very fun sketch, I remember. And then I, I loved this one at the time. She was really cute. Oh yeah, and then this one was nearly like, that was 1228. This is 118. This was over a month later that I got, like, I was like, I should draw again. And it was fine. It was, it was fine. But then I drew this and I'm still super, I'm so enamored with this sketch. Like you could see all the lines. I don't know if you can see it, but all the little details, I feel like it can, came together very, very well. I really like this sketch. And then one four is when I started my sketchbook challenge. So I love the sketch. I love, it was a very strong start. You can see his muscles, his, um, some definition in the cheekbone. There was a lot like going on in this model that was like very, very intriguing. Um, and then the next day, I don't think I even finished this one. I was like, oh, is fine because um, I do the, the sketches d before work, um, before I leave for work and usually it means I'm on a time crunch so can't spend too, too long. Um, and this is a portrait I would have wanted to spend like a couple hours on. Um, but I think it's she's okay. She looks cute. Um, this one's very, very sketchy. I love the pose though. like. A high shoulder here, low shoulder there. Um, kind of see a little bit of my contour lines when I was trying to get the shadows on her face. Overall, I think it's like not too bad. And then this one's on one six. Eh, I definitely overthought. This was one uh, portrait I was like definitely not happy with. Oh, and this one, I love this portrait. I actually challenged myself to do like a smiling portrait and I think it came out so beautifully. It's still one of my favorite portraits. And this one, this was actually of a, um, a Mexican actress. And I, this portrait, to me, this was such an effortless portrait. This came together in just a few, well, not a few minutes, like maybe like 20 minutes. But... I just felt like I got it. I, I'm in this, I'm, I got the groove back. Um, I love these two portraits were definitely like, this one is specifically challenging to do, but I feel like I nailed it. This one just was so effortlessly and I will always hold on to that feeling. And then I remember doing this portrait. Eh, I didn't really, I don't know. I just didn't like it at the time, but I do love the little quick sketches I did of the hair because I didn't have enough time to even bother with that. I spent too much time on her nose and her eyes and I just kind of overworked it. I love this one too. Um, very, very simple, but well, it looks very simple, but it really isn't because her eyes are tilted up. So you only see like a little bit of her eye 
um, of her right eye and you see like uh, her face is like tilted up too so you see a little bit of her nostril and stuff so it was challenging but I really love how it came out you see a little bit of the cheekbone definition and like just drawing eyes in this view is very very hard it's very challenging oh and also she was facing um her back was facing the camera so I thought it was a very interesting pose Ooh. Oh, I love both of these portraits. This one is specifically like you can see all where all the light is bouncing off on the face. There are little lights within the shadows and I love the angle of it. It was very challenging because it was up and to an angle. And even though I don't think I quite got that angle, I still think it, it came out beautifully. I love like having shadows within the shadows and this one was really fun. This one was also challenging, but I think I got it. I, like her eyes aren't exact, but I, it's okay. Sometimes you just gotta go the, with the flow. Um, but I love that you can see where her face is coming out. Like she has high cheekbones and it goes into her face. And like, she just had a lot of like um, angles to her face. And I just, that's what I look for in, um, when I, look for portraits to draw and try to get um look for different styles of faces this one is my husband because we got um it was our anniversary we married got married a couple few years ago um on the 14th and I decided to draw him and I hated this drawing and I still hate this drawing but it's okay <laughs> um this one actually I did this on Saturday and that meant I could spend like at least an hour on a portrait I, I think I spent like an hour and 10 on this one and I love how she came out. Like I was actually able to just like stop and just think and do a little bit of the contour. You can see some of her cheekbone emerging here and it was only like light shading. I feel like it was towards, it was at this point that I started switching my process for drawing portraits. I went in doing more contouring to kind of get the placement of the face and instead of just going straight for analytical because then I would just spend <clears throat> a long 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 time trying to figure everything out and it just wasn't sometimes if it wasn't working out for me it wasn't working out for me so this I actually in this portrait I actually started with a little bit of a light contour you can kind of see it here where there's a shadow on the bridge of her nose going into her cheek. I just, I love this section. You can kind of just see a cheek emerging. It's very beautiful. And you see that, oh, some light is bouncing off on her jawline. And I just love how her eyes came out. Like you can see folds. This is such a beautiful drawing. If I do say so myself, I really like this drawing. <laughs> I mean, compared to this one, you can see that this is like super overworked. You can see all my erase marks and stuff. And I was trying to get the right angle. Um, this one is definitely in progress versus what you see here. You kind of see more of a finished portrait. You see more, more angles. You see more definition. You see like, you just see more. It's, and I think because I was having a lot more fun drawing this than I was drawing this portrait, sorry husband, um, that you could just see that I was stopping and, um, and thinking and just giving a little bit more care to what I was drawing. Oh, and this one I think I did in just a little bit. Uh, you can kind of tell it's not fully done, but I got a lot of the definition down. I just didn't go in and um darken some of the areas but I remember this one not taking too too long and I was like I I feel like I got a lot of the angles right maybe the cheekbones a little bit off or maybe this eye is a little bit off but um still think it came out okay this one I actually really love just because this one didn't take very long for me to do um and I just wanted to get the pose more or less and not just worry about and, and not focus on the details too too much and you and I think I really I was able to do that like you can see here where her shoulder comes in a little bit so 
there's some definition here. Um, I love the little just lights, lips here. It was just like a quick thought. Just don't hover over it too, too much. Just do it and just move on. And that's what I remember about doing this portrait. It was just more or less like just get the shapes in. It's okay. Just try and get the shapes and um, the rest will follow. This one, I was not too, too big of a fan. Um, you can see her drawing line's a little bit too defined. It's very boxy. Um, it's usually the simplest portraits, you think, that tend to be the most challenging because you'd have to get those angles exactly right. But, I mean, not every sketch has to be perfect. You know, it's that's totally fine. Um, what I really do like is um, this area, um, her eyebrow... Um, I don't even know what you would call this area. Bridge? No. I don't know. This like little area below the eyebrow going into the cheekbone because that's basically one, almost one flat plane. So it just looks kind of like a lightning bolt. Like, zoom, zoom, zoom. It was very quick to just go in with an eraser and just knock, um, knock back those areas to, to lighten the entire por portrait. This one is of Yoko Ono. Um, we were watching the Get Back docu-series on Disney Plus, and I just loved Yoko Ono's aesthetic, and I just had to draw her. And she, it was, I remember this one being very challenging also due to the angle of the face and just making sure I was getting the right... I was, right, I was drawing the right contours and... I know it took me a while just to just to do this, but I feel like I nailed it. Um, oh, here's the 20th. So um, this was probably almost almost 20 days. Maybe it was like 16 days in, probably the halfway mark. Um, I start to switch up my process. I feel like I'm I'm getting sense of what I want to do, what I like, and just trying to build instead of um instead of just drawing so I kind of switched gears into being more a little bit more sculptural with how I'm drawing so I would just go in and um, with my pencil and just lightly darken some areas you could see here in the cheekbone that she had a very prominent cheekbone and how it kind of goes up here but her jawline is a little bit lighter so here I'm you can start to see that I'm being a little bit more sensitive to all these little areas in the face. This portrait I absolutely, absolutely love. I feel like this one was also one of those, it was one of those days that I felt super, um, like it just felt effortlessly. Like I wasn't thinking too, too hard. I wasn't overthinking. Um, I was able to, and it was such a hard angle too. So I remember having a lot of trouble here. As you can tell, it's a lot darker right here um, because I was just like, vroom, vroom. Um, but like, I, I feel like I got the angle right. I got a lot of the shapes right, um, especially here in the nose. I love that her cheekbone just comes in um, here. So it's a little bit lighter. Um, her eyebrows, especially like I love, I love it when the eyebrows just look a little bit lighter um in areas because really it's it's only just like tufts of hair and um making it appear thicker so um yeah just like lightening it up it's a little bit more angular but that's because I was just trying to get the the sh overall direction right um and I also got to draw a little bit of jean shirt so you can see the contour here a little bit it's a it's sloppy contour but <laughs> it kind of just shows um what was there you see a little bit of her hand didn't finish it obviously I didn't fi get to finish her braid but this portrait is just so so pretty I love how this one came out this one was hard I definitely remember that um the angle was not I don't know sometimes the angles come to me sometimes they don't this one was um I had to think about it a little bit more um but I think I did okay um I think the eyes could have been they don't look like they're on the same plane um but I do like how the nose came out 
This portrait is also one of my favorite portraits within um, the challenge that I did um, because I just remember feeling like um, it was just effortless. I was, and, and that's probably, that's the feeling that I want to feel when I'm drawing. I just want to, I don't want to overthink this one. I didn't overthink. I just went in, I just did it. I did a little bit of a contour and I just slowly, instead of just going in uh, hard at the beginning, I just kind of went in with a contour and just slowly, slowly, slowly build up the shadows. Um, I would uh, lightly brush, erase away some of these highlights. So you see here underneath her eye, um, here, a hard light was shining on her. And I love that you could just see that prominently here at her chin and here at her temple. Um, and I just love like how the eyes came out, just everything about it. See this muscle here, the tilt of her shoulder, even the <laughs> rushness of the hair like I just I was running a little bit late um so I just just to get direction for the hair um just to show that there's coilies and I think this just this just was this came out very beautifully uh this one I feel like came out very very well I love that you just see more or less um how lighter I'm becoming. I want to show more nuance in the shadows of the face. So you see like there's light bouncing here on her cheekbone, not her cheekbone, sorry, her jawline. Um, there's a light that's going this way, but also she was wearing jewelry. So some of that light was bouncing up against her. So it was like illuminating a little bit from below. And I, you can see that, which those are the kind of things I love drawing. I just love drawing the little uh, lights within the face where it shines through. Yeah. Oh, and also her nose. Her nose was so easy to do. It was just like a little, I drew little circles like shoo, 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 um, just to build up some of that uh, nuanced shadow. This one I hate. <laughs> what can I say? I hate it. I think it was a little ambitious in doing a model with very, very strong features. I do think I got this correct, this entire cheekbone and jaw. Everything else, no. You could tell like the nose, I was overthinking it. One nostril is higher than the other. Um, I think the lips are a little bit too low. Maybe I should have like raised them. You see, I erased a lot. Um, yeah, I hate it. <laughs> but that's okay, it's fine. Oh yeah, Tessa Thompson. <laughs> I definitely had a lot of fun with this one. It's a little bit harder because um, I wanted to try to do a little bit more of a torso portrait. So I was drawing pretty small, um, but sometimes that lets you, well, maybe it just stops you from overthinking from doing like a big portrait to just like, oh, I don't have to worry about all the nuanced details within her face. Just just get the cheekbone in, get the shadow of her nose, her lips, and move on. I think this one came out very well. This one is was definitely different for me. Like, I don't hate it, but I also, um, it's not one of my favorites. But I do think, because it was a different angle, so it's like coming from the poses, viewing her from over the shoulder. So I feel like that's always challenging to get that correctly where the eye is a little bit closer to the nose and just kind of showing that type of depth. Um, I think I remember having the hardest time with her lips. But overall, not bad. This one I hated too, but like after the fact, like I see all my mistakes and that's totally fine, but like, you can see where I was building through my contour, which I think that's, this is a very good process sketch, even though I didn't get to finish it or anything. And I over, I, I think I spent like 45 minutes on the sketch and I was definitely late for work, but that's neither here nor there. Um, you can just kind of see how I'm building up. Like you see my quick marks 
and where I'm like spending more time in like so I spent a lot of time in the middle area like her eyes aren't right but it was it was definitely hard for sure um but I love like here the cheekbone you can kind of see where I'm starting to build up some of the shadow and some of the nuanced highlights I know I had a hard time with her jawline this portrait is definitely one of my favorites. Look how sweet he looks. This is for um, a hoodie ad or something like that, but I felt like, yes, it's not perfect. Like, I know it's not perfect. I know it's a little skewed and I could have done some things better, but holy cow, I feel like my process is super developing into something that I'm really happy seeing. I think with a lot of artists, it's really hard to just like do something and, and still be and be happy with the end product. Um, I am starting to see my process developing, how I'm doing these shadows. Like you see the little cheekbone, like all the new and shadows. Um, I have a little cheekbone going into his jawline. There's a little shadow there. You can see the shadows in his nose, even in his eyes, you have some highlights here. There's some light bouncing in underneath his brow bridge to his eye. So that's, I love doing that. I love, I found that I loved going in lightly and just kind of darkening just areas, but only a little bit. Like here, you see where um, the nose goes into the cheek, like it's lighter here because there's light coming off onto his nose. That's like the beauty of doing the sketch, uh, these sketch portraits. And then also like there's a hard highlight on this side of the face, but not on this side of the face. So there's gonna be like hard light here. So that will contrast against shadow along the side of his face. So you get to see a lot more definition of how his face is built, you know? You see his cheekbones, you see his jawline. That's like all exciting stuff. And then I was very um, rushed to do the hair, so obviously. Uh, so I love that it's just like coily, just tr -tr -tr. You don't really need to define it too, too much just to get the, to get the overall feeling. You know, like his hair is curly. I do love this portrait. This one was definitely in um, interesting and hard, <laughs> but I think I, got it um what I loved about this portrait is how light interacted with her face like she had a very smooth face which is sometimes very hard to draw you would think it um it wouldn't be but sometimes um those can be the most difficult um but I feel like I was able to get a lot of the light and a lot of the shadows correctly and, and this eye especially was specifically hard um because eyes at that angle are really really tough just because like you have this preconceived notion of what the eye should look like but when you look when you draw it and you look at what the actual eye looks like and they're not matching um and then that's always frustrating <laughs> so I remember I had a hard time trying to get this eye right I also feel like I got the lips um like I nailed the lips because um of the angle like you can tell that um her upper lip comes in a little bit at the um, edges of her lip. So um, I feel like I did a very good job on this one. This one was okay. Um, I loved how strong the portrait was, but you can see that like her jawline isn't right and her cheekbones aren't right and her lips just like a lot of not right things happened. Doesn't make it bad. Um, you can kind of see where I was building some shadow here at the edge of her nose, going into her cheek to her upper lip. You can see a nice big highlight here, which is, that's always fun to like go in with your eraser and just droom, droom, droom. That's one of the fun things to do um, while drawing these portraits. I think it was okay. It was overall okay. This one I hate. Hated it a lot. 
obviously didn't finish it. Um, the angle was just not right for me. The eyes were incorrect and I was spending too much, too much, too much time on it. And I'm pretty sure I cried. Um, <laughs> but sometimes that's just how it is. Like, they can all be hits, you know? And this is all practice. This is all just a challenge. And if, you, if it's too easy, then you're not challenging yourself, right? This one was, um, is okay. I feel like I, I messed up the eyes a little bit, but I do love like her nose going into her lip, um, and the shadow on this cheekbone. Oh, and then you get a little bit of a contour <clears throat> on her hand. Very, very cute. And then here are my last few drawings. I loved how this one came out. I did I did it super light. I built with contour and just went in. You can see her smiling. I feel like I nailed it because you can actually see that she's smiling. She's being a little coy. Um, you could see how I built up the jawline here going into her neck. It's always fun seeing those angles in a body or I guess in a face like boom, boom. You just see the interaction with each other and how they, that's like how the body works, right? Um, seeing a highlight here from the cheekbone all the way to the jawline. I remember this part of her face was a little bit in shadow, except for parts of her nose. So I just remember having a lot, a lot of fun right here, especially the nose. You can see a little bit of light shining off right above the nostril. This portrait is so cute. Um, you can see I've definitely lightened up a little bit in the shading. You see this hard cheekbone, but you see a little highlight here in the chin. You see how the cheekbone here connects to her, to the corner of her lip. It's so fun. That's so fun. And I, I feel like I got the angle of her eyes right. She had a very, very pronounced eyebrow. It was very long. And she was very alternative looking, which sometimes is very, very fun to draw. Um, and I feel like I just got it. Like you see hard shadows, but not everything's in shadow. You see light bouncing off here in the jaw, jawline right here. You see light bouncing off here on her cheek. You even see a little bit of the shadow coming in into her cheekbone from her nose. This one was such a fun portrait and I was very, very happy. Um, and yeah, that was this was my very last portrait of the 30 day challenge, but I definitely, I think I drew a little bit more. Oh yeah, I drew this one. I don't like it um, because I bought some pencils and I went over them. And, um, turns out I should not have done that because you just see graphite underneath and it just looks so muddy. Probably shouldn't have done that, but <laughs> it was a fun little experiment. Um, anyway. Yeah, I loved how this portrait came out. And this portrait, like, uh, validated everything that I was doing, I feel like. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I only have a little bit left in this notebook and I'm probably going to continue drawing almost every day. Well, I always try to draw every day, if not almost every day. Um, I just got a bunch of commissions in, so I probably will be focusing on those more so. But like, it's just so interesting to see that this was, these two were my latest sketches, right? But at the very beginning of January... Those were the sketches. And I feel like there's such a complete different process. There's more definition. There's a little bit more nuance there. Yeah, that's crazy. I love this one. <laughs> um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the sketchbook tour. I had a lot of fun doing it. There were some days where it was pretty rough, um, but at the end of the day, they're just portraits and it's just an exercise challenge and it's just really for me. Um, and I continue to do these portraits. I'm gonna try every day, but if not, then, you know, that's okay too. If you wanna see more of the drawing process of each portrait, I have all of the 
30 videos on my YouTube shorts page. Um, so give those a look and let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this type of content, just let me know in the comments below. And until next time, bye friends. Mm -hmm.